you don't be like you don't make that kind of statement. You okay, you don't make it. You will tell me, or oh, if that's the day you were talking yesterday, you were talking this morning, not come such a fact and make food for, for poor people. I've been telling people, you will flare up as if you have some food. You just have to be mean. They're saying they're true. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Azine Williams. How are y'all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, there's never a dull moment in the Big Brother Niger house as we had our major basketballs today. Like one of the major basketballs. In fact, this is a major basketball that we've all been waiting for for a very, very long time. Yes, guys. Guys, and it's between the two ladies, Chomsey and Fina. Yes, guys. Now, the thing about this fight is, on the surface, it actually looked as if it was about food or about levels. But if you look deeply, mm, might not really be about food. Yes, guys. So what happened? Now, yesterday, let's start with yesterday. Yesterday, the level two housemates, that is Cheesy, Brian and Fina, decided you know to take out from some of their supplies they've stored over time when they were winning wages when they were still in levels and decided to okay feast basically and they did that they shared to their level two housemates and when that happened um fina and daniela were in the kitchen and hemis was in the kitchen too if i can recall and of course chomzy was in the kitchen and they were talking about you know what they don't make the rules you know they're not even going to give anybody like they were basically catching crews like they were laughing both daniela and fina they were laughing even hemis was like ah that he doesn't have pride though he's gonna beg you know that kind of thing playing you know and um that was when chomzy said about oh this level thing people are taking it personal and fina was like oh it's personal low you know that kind of joke i mean the video is all over on the internet and basically that was that was it and then fina was like oh it's personal low even it's for level two even if another if a level two housemate gives another person you know go chop tomorrow it was basically people catching crews. Daniela was laughing. Hemis was laughing. Fina was laughing. So that happened. Then fast forward to you today. Of course, Fina did not have breakfast today because, you know, groovy matter, which we are going to talk about later. Yes, guys. So this afternoon, Fina decided, you know what, to fix something for herself. So it was actually Brian and Dotun that came up with the whole pasta thing. Yes, guys. So Fina decided to make food for Brian, for Dotun. Um, who else? I think she also gave groovy and Hermes. Hermes has not been feeling fine, guys. So, and of course, herself. Yes, guys. So after making the food and sharing to them, that was when, you know, Chum made a statement about oh these level two people you know these people thing people are doing being stingy about food hoarding food not giving people food you know um you people are taking it personal hope you people can continue with it even outside the house hope people can keep up the energy even outside the house then she kept saying it and saying it and saying it and Fina was there and Fina was like what do you actually mean level two people and Chomzi was like you know what I'm not talking to you and Fina was like hello I am a level two housemate so what do you mean you know that was when she was like the statement that Fina made Fina was like what statement did she make like what statement that was when you know there was a back and forth like heavy back and forth too. like I'm just doing a summary of of what's exactly happened heavy back and forth and you know Hermes, Bella, you know, they were like, okay, what exactly did she say? You know, that was when Chomsey said, you know, about that thing that happened the day before and Bella had to go tell Fina and Fina was like, what are you talking about? What exactly did I say? You know, and there was a back and forth insults. We're flying left, right and center. You know, um, Chomsey called um, 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 Fina a short woman, a mad woman, you know, like basically being condescending, you know, Chomsey, condescending and Chomsey, same sentence every time. Time. And Vina was like, who do you think you are? Like, seriously, who who are you going to establish outside the house? Who are you outside the house? Who do you think you are going to make outside there? Are you big sister? Are you big brother? Like, okay, I'm not level two. I'm level five. Like, people of God, it was heated. Now, what caught my attention in all this is the fact that when um, Chomzi was calling Fina a mad woman, telling Fina that, oh, she looks like a mad woman, she was sitting very close to Groovy. And Groovy was not, initially, to be very honest, Groovy was actually trying to, like, explain to Chomzi the whole thing. But he was sitting there and he could not even defend his supposed woman, despite the fact that they are fighting. He was just sitting there. And to me, that's not cool. No matter what. I mean, even if Shex and Bella are having an issue, no matter how weak chastise Shex, he will never have it. I mean, remember when 
Cheesy came at Bella. You remember how Shags behaved? Like for me, I'm like, nah, this guy, mm -mm, no, 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 no. And also the fact that when Fina will go maybe to the restroom area or to the box room area, that will be when, you know, for, um, Chum Chumsy will be saying like things. And when Fina will come to her face, she'll just like, keep quiet and like, oh, I don't talk to you. Then Fina will go and go out again and she'll start, you know, the whole thing. It was indeed a very heated, you know, um, very heated session, very heated argument, people of God. And you know me, I love drama, but both. <laughs> as long as I'm not involved, I love it. And the truth is, I've been waiting for this to happen. Yes, I have been waiting for this to happen because Chomsey has had it coming for Fina for a very long time. I mean, there was a, like, it's been piling up, basically. And I think Fina has also been piling up this thing for Chomsey. Now, a lot of people will be of the, of the opinion that this actually happened because of Groovy, which is not really far-fetched, if you ask me, because somehow these two women have been involved with Groovy. And the groovy, you know, that is involved in all this, it's not even being active like that. Yes, guys. Now, after the whole five days, there was a wager um, rehearsal where they had to, like, teach dancing. I feel I had to make it clear that, see, yes, I grew up in a restaurant. Yes, I'm, I bring up myself voluntarily to cook for people, but that doesn't make me anybody's maid. I'm as much of a housemate in here just like every other person is. And even during the tags... Brian even tried to like explain to Trump the see this food self you're even fighting number one we worked for this we decided to save this food for a rainy day and you all remember that big brother warned the level one housemates not to feel entitled to level two food that if they wanted the level two people to give them food they should ask nicely if they decide to give them fine if they decide not to give them all fine and then um, Brian was even telling her, this food of today, it's even Dotuna and I that brought the food. Even the food you are talking about, Fina gave Hermes. The chicken she was supposed to eat for herself, she gave Hermes. She had to go fry egg for her own self and gave, you know, Hermes her own portion. Like, it doesn't, what you're saying does not correlate with, you know, the whole thing that is happening on ground. And Chomzi was still like, I'm the kind of person, you know, that keeps things in mind. I can hold grudges. Basically, that's what she was saying. You know, even outside the house, you know, this will continue. And Brian guy was like, for what, because of Chow, because of Chow, like that, he kept repeating it for like five times, all these things because of Chow, um, uh, seriously, like, uh-uh, Chomzy, nah, Chomzy might be the most competitive female in that house, but her character, no, zero, character-wise, nah, 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 nah. Like, it was so bad that even fake housemates from level two, Modella had to come out to put out a post. Like, you know what, Chomzy, be coming home. Be coming home, you don't do. Because basically, why are you feeling so, I don't know. Are you the kingmaker? Are you the kingmaker? Are you big brother? Like, seriously. And the whole talking down on level two housemates is really, really becoming more annoying. I mean, Bella had a conversation with um Shags, Doin, um... I think Brian was even there and they were like talking, Chomsey was there and they were like talking about how, you know, Fina, which was like their focal point, they were talking about how Fina has not been able, that if Fina stands with them, the level two, level one housemate, that she's going to go. Like she's been standing with weak people and that's why she has not been going. I'm like, <sighs> I think Big Brother, whenever they are going to start another season of Big Brother, they will look back at the problem that this whole level thing caused and I don't think they want to do it again because even though they are merged, the truth is the level mentality is still with this housemate. And do I blame them? Oh, no, because there is a set of the housemate that is the level two housemate that feel aggrieved and angry. And there is the level one housemate that feel like they have the numbers and they are better than them. I mean, talk about what we see in our society today. Yeah. I mean, this whole merge, this whole level one, level two, if you are a Nigerian, you can relate it to, you know, the polity that is like what is happening around us. I mean, yeah, that's what I think about this. Like, I just feel like Chomsey should calm down. Like, she's a beautiful girl, competitive spirit, but <sighs> this, her attitude is what is really not being like, it's, it's, how can you carry because of child? You won't carry on for mine, go outside. How many people carry this kind of thing in mind? Like, parent and white money basically had an issue because of kitchen. But look at them now. And you are saying because of food, you are going to, I beg, I beg, I beg. Let's move on to better things. Let's talk about Fina and Groovy. They have seen us to do. This is like the longest time they've been apart. Like the way they are passing each other. Like two parallel lines that can never meet. I'm like, oh my, what is going on? And to think that Fina actually made food and gave this Groovy to eat. 
Hunger one finish Groovy. He fried egg by fire by force to eat. He was just hopping around the kitchen to see who would give him food. That see if he go carry food, give her. Like, even though when um, Chichi made the tea, I think he carried two, you know, um, cups, you know, one for Fina and one for himself. Chizzy came, you know, met with Fina to talk about this whole issue. Fina is still insisting she will not go and apologize. Her mood don't do. Even, you know, she had an, uh, um, a discussion with Bella. And after everything, narrating everything to Bella, Bella was like, you're not wrong. Like, you didn't do anything wrong in this. And Bella wanted her to talk, you know, with um, Groovy. And she was like, no, she's not going to do that. Because he's going to feel like, okay, she's been begging him. So whenever anything happens, he will just move out. Like, that's a childish behavior. Take out your things from the locker, move to another bed, blah, blah, blah. I like, now, well, this one, that's secondary school love. Because I don't think it's a mature thing to do. Or maybe, like, um, people on the streets or Twitter are saying, he's trying to, like, find a way out of that relationship because he feels that maybe Fina does stand the chance at the polls on sunday maybe is he gonna get a shocker i think so but whichever one shall let's see how this whole fina and groovy thing is gonna go personally i actually want fina to be on her own to be honest i want her to be on her own let ship day 100 million is in front three weeks now so i beg let Oga carry his shipping you know thing and be by himself they're actually going to be good by themselves they can actually be good friends they can actually be casual but that relationship thing, let it halt. Let Fina, you know, the real Fina that we've always known from week one be the Fina that we still want or we still see on our screens. That's what I think. And of course, you know, Bella went ahead, you know, to relay the information to her boyfriend. And I see a lot of people ask, oh, why would Bella tell Cher, blah, blah, blah. Why would she? That's what couples do. They, it's not gossip, if you ask me. Couples, they tell each other stuff. And still, I admire Bella because she kept saying that to her, Fina wasn't wrong. You know, maybe the guy is just tired of the relationship, but Fina wasn't wrong. I mean, whatever happened, it does not wear around Groovy's attitude. I'm talking about from one ship, let's go over to another ship. It looks like our favorite ride out, Cheesy, don't they fall in love? But this is falling in love with doing, or whatever it is he's doing with doing, it's kind of like selling him out. Because right now, Shex is feeling, or having the feeling, that Cheesy is a fake housemate. Yes. And I think she just, should just watch it. I know he's trying to be like this, you know, all around the rider. With Doyin, you can't really tell. I don't know if Doyin actually does like Cheesy. I don't think so. I think this is a strategy. I mean, whenever I look at this housemates, I go back to their first video they did before coming into the house. Doyin said she is a manipulator. She lashes out to people. She's a good girl. I love her. But from what I'm seeing, this whole Cheesy thing... Knowing that Cheesy has stood up how many times? Nah, you know, jig. But I hope Cheesy still has his sense intact. Yes, guys. Now, away from all that, guys. Um, Big Brother has still not given them the case set for the attacks. And I really don't think they understand, you know, the in-depth of this tax. This tax is about appreciating, you know, the people that have, like, nurses, um, armed forces, people that have really shaped our society, teachers and all that. I'm seeing them doing dance routines. And, I mean, they are doing great. But then again... I feel there's no narrative. There's nothing. There's no story. I think they should go back. Remember when um, Shania I, the very first wage attack that Shania I did, that dance story, that um, White Money and Licorous finished work, I think they should look into that and do something similar. I don't know until Big Brother gives them the tape because I don't understand. Up till now, Big Brother has still not given them the tape. And what is the bug that is flying around in that house? Why are they all falling sick? My own Hermes is sick, guys. And which, like, what is going on? Big Gay had to like call them even yesterday and today to be giving them vitamin C and other medications. What is going on in Biggie's house? Big Brother. And even when, I think it was Groovy that wanted to say, oh, if there's another variant that was flying around the house, they just cut off his mic. They didn't want him to talk about that so that people would not be scared that, okay, oh, something has entered Big Brother's house. Whichever one shall, we are going to be watching. Um, we're going to be, you know, praying that Hemis gets better. Um, and Alison is doing a great job as a good girlfriend. And Alison, a good deputy, she is not. But a good girlfriend, she is. She's really, you know, trying her best. Yes, guys. So even though it's my birthday today, I just said, you know what? I cannot, for the life of me, leave a pro quo that's about things that are happening in the house just because I'm doing birthday. Mm -mm. I, can, I will still come back here to report to you guys. On that note, guys, I say thank you so very much for being part of my channel. If you've not already subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button. Click on notification bell to let you know when I 
whatever I post any new video. Till I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, AZ Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead.